How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I want to do in today's episode is take a look at the rope roller from Roller Cams. Stick with me as we take a look at them. So I recently came across these rope rollers from Roller Cam. And let me try and get this focused in here so you can kind of see how these look. So I was made aware of these from someone in a Facebook group that I'm a part of. And why it sparked kind of an interest for me is recently I've been looking at various options for ridge lines. Uh, I'm a firm believer as an outdoor educator and as just a student in general that you have to explore all the possibilities for a particular method of doing anything just so that it adds more tools to your toolbox so you are most prepared for anything that you're doing. So when I looked at these, and let me get this in here again so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. These are really similar to a product from Night Eyes. And I'm not gonna go into a big uh, Ridgeline video uh, today, but I just wanted to talk about these because I thought these were really, really interesting. Now, you have a little gate there. This will focus in uh, for me. A little gate there that you can connect into a grommet. And then this section here where you have the little toggle, and then you see that brass wheel in there. So you feed through the rope in here, and then you can adjust that to whatever length you need. This will work with three and four millimeter diameter rope, or up to, I should say. This is made from stainless steel and brass. Price on these vary, so it all depends on how many you buy. Uh, but what I wanna do is use these to set up uh, a quick lean-to just to show a setup. So I just have a few in this little volume outdoors pouch. I think I have four of them with me today. Um, so what you'll also get with the rope roller itself are these guy lines. So nice and bright. So if you're using them as guy lines, you aren't gonna trip over them in the middle of the night when you gotta do your thing. So it's nice that they include some cordage with them. So before we start stringing up the tarp, let's prep our guy lines. Now, let me see how long of a piece of guy line we got here. I wanna say this is maybe six foot, maybe 10 foot, but I know that I have a wingspan of just under six foot. So yeah, this is probably right about 10 feet of cordage for each one of these guy lines. But what we wanna do is prep these so we can use those out in the field. And all we're gonna do on one end is make a quick bowling knot. I've done videos on how to do this, so I'm not gonna show you how. We can quick and easy tie that bowling knot in there. So we just take our cordage, feed it around the tree, take our bowline, just like we're using any kind of other ridge line. Use a Marlin spike. Now, get this lined up here. Now, we got this attached to the tree. So I got my two lines connected to the tree. Let me pull my 10 stakes out from this bag. tarp out of here. As you can see, I've never used this tarp before, so good way to get it out and set up. Now, let's find the corners we want to use. So, just going to come to this corner here. Let me find one of my rope rollers. And I can take this Put it right, come on, right into the loop itself. 
I'll have to kind of fit that in there. But now, let me get this some background here. So now I just have it tied in to that loop or hooked into that loop, I should say. Now, keeping that rope roller facing towards the tree I want to connect it to, I can feed the cordage by hitting the toggle here, feeding that through. And then now I can start cinching this to whatever length I need. I will show you that process on the other one. So now that I have the rope roller connected to the tab I want to connect this through, I can just hit the little lever here. Let's see how that moves open. And I can take my cordage and feed it up through that opening. And there's little teeth on the inside of this button here. And just run that through the brass wheel to whatever need that, or whatever length I need, I should say. So now just coming in through here, I can adjust this until I get the tightness that I want stretched across the top here. And then just come through with my 10 stakes to stake this out. So I just wanted to show you the first time me using either of these products, uh, the tarp as well as the rope rollers. Like I said, what sparked the idea to get some of these, and all transparency cam roller did send me uh, a bunch of them to use. But I started going down this rabbit hole of ridge lines, and one of the common things that I've seen with students um, that have taught is some don't always have full dexterity in their fingers or enough strength to do a rapid ridge line. So I started looking at other ridge line options out there that you can set up the same type of ridge line, maybe not a rapid ridge line per se, but a ridge line to connect a tarp off of for an emergency. So picked up some of these, got in contact with camera roller and they were all about working together to bring that to the community. So just wanted to highlight that. As I said, I will be doing a Ridge Lines video uh, in with the outdoor skills videos that I've been putting out. So let me know in the comment section down below what other Ridge Lines you've used or what other methods have you used to set up a Ridge Line. I think it's extremely important that we look at a ton of different methodologies to add those tools to our toolbox and have a lot of ways to do the same thing. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That gets more eyes on the community that we're building here, helps bring those people into that community so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.